welcome back to a brand new vlog. I'm so excited to be back. So you guys, um, I've been MIA for a bit. I've been closing down my dad's practice. And if you want to know the details of that, and part of the big reason that I've been MIA on, on YouTube and socials, um, go check out my main channel on closing down my dad's office. Um, but with that said, it hasn't just been that that I've been MIA. Nick, I'm so hungry. I'm gonna need to like get some, I think I have something in here from Creation. Oh yeah, let's eat this. It's gonna be so good. Okay, so there's been- What did you get? Oh, it's like a double dip chicken tapas. Mm. True friendship is being able to double dip. Let's double dip together. And I got this, which I'm this not is hungry. a newer salad. I got this for my lunch tomorrow for work. Oh, I'm visiting you at work on Wednesday. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I don't I don't like this color of salad dressing. So I might just take olive oil. It might be good in my nappy. I don't know. I just don't like the color. But anyways, I know I'm so excited you're coming to my work. Oh, and by the way. And we'll film you guys so you'll see we'll why I'm it. going. Exactly. But by the way, you guys actually, um, so part of the reason, you guys know I'm doing dental only three days now, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. But actually, Tuesday, Wednesdays, I'm remaining my old office. And on Thursdays, I had been in talks with a colleague who really wanted me to work in her office in Beverly Hills. And so now I'm in Beverly Hills, so my drive is like literally five minutes. We love that. We love that. But I'm still doing my other office because my heart is there, my soul is there. But yeah, so I'm actually like in my hood now on Thursday. So that's kind of cool. Oh my God, Nick, we need to show everybody these. Look at how cute these salt and pepper, salt and pepper shakers are. So cute. So look at that. Oh, no, here you can grab it. See, it's with a spoon. And look at that. I got us from this cute 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 little like store and i salt everything you guys by the way even before i taste it um i got this from this cute store in brentwood it's like totally, i didn't even know the name or i would say it do you want some nick uh i'm good thank you love. this is so persian so this is like kebab so, that's sadiki um, uh, it's not let me see mm. it doesn't say mm. it's not sadiki i was like what we have in my friend persian culture is we have like Yogurt with cucumbers or yogurt. This is yogurt with dill, I mm. think. Oh, so, and you're drinking your Elani. Oh, oh, I love my Elani. I put it with some ice. You know what I love about this energy drink? It's an energy drink, right? Oh, clearly this has energy. It doesn't make me jittery. There's some other ones that I had tried. I don't usually get energy drinks. I drink coffee, but this I really love. It has only like 10 calories too, by the way, you guys. And this is my newest favorite flavor. The How cherry much sugar? Flavor. Oh, zero sugars. Wow. It's a really good drink. And it doesn't make me super jittery, but it keeps me like upbeat, you know, especially like I'm drinking these right before my workout snack. Oh, great. Because I've been a little sluggish with that. Mm. We've gained a bit of weight. Oh, not good. Not good. <laughs> not good. I've been working out harder than ever. I've gained so much weight. Not good. So I'm on a mission. You're now. gaining muscle. I'm gaining not muscle. It's <laughs> we have we had to like push me into these jeans today. But so um, what was I talking about? You working in the Beverly Hills office. Oh yeah. So that's good and said and done. And I actually really love my new schedule, you guys. Mondays is such a day you shouldn't work. For all you who. You we're going to I mean? mandate Mondays no we're longer. We're going to mandate Mondays. It's so nice on a Sunday. You know how everybody has a Sunday scaries? Mm -hmm. you know, I don't have Sunday scaries anymore. Now we have the mo Monday madnesses. We have the Monday madnesses. <laughs> exactly. Because like what I do on Mondays, like if we're, sometimes we're filming on Mondays because that's a really good day for Nick. But if we're not filming, I'll wake up, casually go to the gym, spend a couple of hours and not lose any weight. <laughs> <laughs> and gain weight. But actually, other than closing down my dad's office, which is very emotional, um, I've also been really busy contemplating whether I'm going to start more, um, whether I'm going to start a new chain of dental practices. What do you think about that, Nick? I know you've been, I know we've been talking about this for months now, mm -hmm. which is hence another reason why YouTube videos have been very slowed down. Just from... Sorry about that because I've been meeting. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it and I'm still in the process of contemplating about it. But with my, I've been talking with, uh, I have two different ways that I could do it. I've been talking with a colleague of mine who I work with, my Tuesday, Wednesday colleague. And, um, you know, he wanted to start as another practice. He has several practices. He wanted to start one before COVID. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm either going to do it solo, but I'd rather have a business partner. And the only business partner I would like to have would be me. And we get along very, very well. And at the time I was like, I don't think so. You know, once I sold my practices, I kind of just 
said, I just want to work a few days a week and I really don't want to do ownership anymore. You know, as you guys know, I've talked a lot about like in the next couple of years, I might retire, maybe move to Florida, whatnot. But he actually brought it up again. I was like, you know what? Maybe I should. So we're in the talks of thinking about it. And then when I was in Miami, I actually met an individual. Like, you know, Miami is so social, Nick, by the way. You're literally, I was literally sitting at the bar with my AirPods in because I went solo. And um, just not paying attention to anybody. And actually, I took that trip. Now I can tell them. I took it because, like, it was so emotionally draining for me to close my dad's office. It was you know and i i've never gone on a trip solo other than the business trip and i packed my bags i booked the best trip to miami and there's a video on that not a lot of footage of miami but <laughs> because i was having like a lot of fun but um i i packed my bags booked the ticket by myself and went to miami to just like really get out of town get out of dodge you know um but when I was there, I met this individual at the bar. I didn't even want to even talk to anybody, you know? But he was standing right behind me. And I turned around and I said, like, oh my God. And he's this big guy. He's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I was like, no, no, that's okay. If you want to come in like to order your drink, go ahead. And they apparently know him there. He lives in one of the residences of the hotel, you know, across from the hotel. So, and we just started talking and he's like, yeah, I'm into like, I raise money or I'm like yeah, capital, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, what field are you in? I said, I'm a dentist. I said, oh my God, actually, um, our company has raised money for several other dental companies. I don't want to name their names here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I actually ended up having dinner with this individual and we talked about business. It was just business, you know, like about capital, starting, blah, blah, blah dental offices they said yeah we've like done this for not just dental offices but other dental businesses and they've done really well so i was like interesting okay everybody comes into your life for a reason so i've been in contact with this person uh i've sent him one page like for example when you pitch an idea of a business to someone you have to send them a one page like financial statement mm -hmm. basically like what do you need how much money do you need you know how much money per office um what would be the gross revenue year one year two year three what would be your overhead so basically the whole analytics of what it would cost and how much you need he told me to give him um a one page uh financial statement of course i wouldn't do it by myself i'd do it with my colleague but i'm waiting for him to like look at it now now in the process and he's been really busy but he's in the process of looking at the one page that i sent and seeing like what needs to be corrected what not and see if like it, they will even, even get approved you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i've been really busy putting that together and even talk to my colleague about looking for locations to maybe possibly start offices but nothing is in great so i'm not sure if i am or not you guys i'm contemplating you know what i mean anything in life if an opportunity is brought your way think about it you know i literally thought i'm done with dental in a couple of years when blair's 18 but truthfully, once you're like part owner of all these firms, you really aren't going to be oh, practicing dental. You'll just be overseeing the operations. That's true. And that's the thing. So maybe I could ultimately end up doing this and then kind of do retire from practicing dentistry and oversee the operations. If you, like, look, for example, let's say if you open up office one, two, three, four, five, I'm actually open like 20 of them, you know, there's no way I can practice dentistry. I have to be traveling from office to office, mm -hmm. you know, and going in and scaring people. No, you know what I mean? Like the boss has to go and like, be like, okay, let me look at like, you know, you spend a couple hours there. You see how the doctors are working, how the staff's working, you have meetings. So it's more of a management issue at that point, you know? And even if I were to open just a few offices with my colleague without the investors, it would be again, just a management. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I wouldn't, I would not have time to actually physically practice dentistry, you know? Um, and I and I had actually closed that chapter in my life like a long time ago. What do you think, Nick? I mean, I think this is something that you're great at, and I think this is something you can excel in. I'm really great at. It. I opened up my first office when I was 26. Yeah. With a baby on my arm, you know, and I made it profitable within six months. I can do it. That's you know the. Can I tell you what I really love about myself? I love the fact that I'm a doer. I love the fact that I'm really confident. And I love the fact that I know my profession very, very, very well. I like that about me. And I'm proud That's of that. It's true. Yeah. It's true. And for all of you out there, from what I want you guys to take from this, is choose a career you love. Because if you love something, you'll be great at it. 
and excel at it and never ever panic about anything. I never panic in business. And some days, Nick, I'll have 40 or 50 patients, you know, in my clinic. In the Beverly Hills office, we see less patients, you know. Um, but the other office, the reason I'm not leaving it is because we work with underprivileged kids and it's just a passion project of mine. You know what I mean? Um, but the Beverly Hills office is more like, it's, you know what I mean? It's Beverly Hills. But sometimes you'll have like so many patients in the clinic and I never panic. It's almost like there's a storm going on around me and I know how to run room one, room two, room three, room four, room five, room six, and then go back to room one. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I love that about myself that I know how to do that. And I love that even some of the most difficult cases and each case is unique in itself. I never panic and I'm just like, I can do this. Like you've got this Nina. And I'm proud of me for doing that, you know? And ultimately at the end of the day, like I'm the doctor. It's like, and sometimes even my assistants panic. I'm like, why are you panicked? Don't panic. Nobody panicked. Nobody panicked and we're panicking. So you guys, that's part of the reason I've been MIA on YouTube. Um, but fear not, for all the lovers out there, I'm coming back better than ever and giving more and more content for you guys. And I'll keep you guys updated on what I decide to do, whether I just decide to stay as is, I decide to open up like one office, or I decide to start like 20 offices. I'll let you guys know, and we can go through that journey together. But no matter what, have fun, enjoy, excel at what you do, love what you do, and don't panic. <laughs>